Hi, and welcome back to Google Docs Essentials. This is fun. We get to look at using a Google Doc to make a pretty good looking newsletter. Um, and it, that has its unique advantages. You can quickly uh, share it by email, download it as a PDF. Um, and a lot of people think they have to leave the Google Doc to do publishing, but you don't have to. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can make use of the header uh, for your title of your newsletter and adding maybe a, 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 an image, um, closing that header out, and then formatting your document um, to create columns and adding your images and, and getting going with that. Now, um, for the sake of simplicity, it's easy to get started with the template, so feel free to use that. It's also linked in the uh, description of the video. So you open up the template, and you select use template. And by doing that, you're getting a copy of this document that I've pre-created for the purpose of demonstrating this tool. So you've got our class newsletter here. And now if I, I just click up here, double click, um, it opens up the header. So I don't have it posted as the header for the second page, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, you can see I've got it broken up into columns with different uh, magazine, if you will, uh, newsletter to topics. So the first thing is you, we've added um, text in our header. So this is Roboto. You know, you could put text in, um, modify it the way you want. We'll play around with it a little bit just to give you a sense that we're creating something new. But you can create anything you want. You can change this to science updates, right? I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay, and then we'll make the date fall 2024. Okay, all right, so you've got that. Let's just say we're, we're rolling with that. We get down to whoop, this zero. Can't get tricky. I just did a cop, uh, a cut and a paste. So, and there we go. All right. So you have to do a little fudging, but so you have your header set up, and now these are just images that you inserted, and these are this is heading two, right? So somebody made a heading two, and this is the default for this, and there's your articles. Now, how did you get the columns? After you leave the header and you're in the document, you click on uh, format, format columns, and then you can choose whether you want it to be one, two, or three. So this is my three column format. I go to format, click on columns, my two column format, and so on. So that's how you can make a simple newsletter. It's nothing like you're not going to win a graphic award for it. But you don't have to go to Canva and you don't have to, to find a publishing tool to make a simple newsletter. And sometimes just having something really easy that you can get to that stays within your ecosystem is just what the doctor ordered. So that's how you create newsletters using Google Docs. And in the next uh, video, we're going to take a look at the exciting new features of smart chips, drop downs, and building blocks. So uh, the next video will be longer because we're going to go through all the smart chips. And I have a sample doc for you that will be available in that uh, description in case you don't already have the link. All right. See you then.